This is a great one to do with the kids over the Christmas holidays and Lidl's Bell Bake range is perfect for getting them involved. So let's get started. I'm gonna grab a bowl and then just throw in about 200 grams of softened butter with a little bit of sugar. And then I'm gonna beat that together until it's really nice and fluffy. There we go. Now we're gonna throw in an egg yolk. I'm gonna measure out a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then you just want a few drops of red food coloring. And that's gonna give it a real pop of candy cane color. Okay, now that that's done, you need to add in your flour and then just a little pinch of salt and give that a really good mix until a nice dough forms. Now that we've got our red dough, I'm gonna wrap that in cling film and pop it into the fridge for around 30 minutes. Okay, now we're on to the icing. If you prefer, you can just use icing pens, but I'm gonna make my own. So I'm gonna to beat together the butter with the icing sugar for that all important sweetness. Okay, I'm just gonna transfer that icing into a piping bag. Now, if you don't have a piping bag, you can just use a knife and spread it on. And once it's all in there, snip off the end to make a really small hole. Okay, whilst your oven's heating up, it's time to roll out your dough. So, sprinkle on a little bit of flour, get that onto the surface, and then start rolling. Now, you want this to be about half a centimetre thick, and then you can go to town with your candy cane cutter. Now, if you don't have one of these, don't worry. Feel free to experiment with other Christmassy shapes. There we go, look at that, perfect. Pop them onto a lined baking tray, and then you're just gonna bake them for around 10 to 12 minutes. Right, I've let these cool for around five minutes on the tray, and now I'm just gonna transfer them over to a wire rack so they can cool completely. Okay, here's the fun bit. I'm gonna get to show off my decorating skills. Here we go. So you're just gonna pipe lines of that sweet icing across the top of half of your biscuits. There's my candy cane stripes. Then you need to just cut a slightly larger hole into the end of your piping bag, and then just go around the edges of the rest of your cookies. Next, we're just gonna add a little bit of jam for a dollop of fruitiness in the center. Finally, just put your stripy tops onto your jammy bottoms like that. It's like a Christmas sandwich. And we're done. 